What's going on everyone? Welcome to our Dreams of Desire Definitive Edition Let's Play. Let's keep going. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Alright, we left off after a huge info dump last episode. A lot of story, which is actually really great to see. A good little break from all the sex scenes that you don't get to see. Uh, but we left off with Alice wanting something. Let's we'll see what happens here. Jones! Can you come over to my room? Console's not working properly. Crap, I'm very past the intro and someone distracts me. Jones! I'm coming, Alice. You don't have to shout. <laughs> Needy. I'm here, Alice. Did you have some trouble with the console? Well... No. Then why'd you say so? I just wanted to be alone with you a little bit. You know, like that. Like what? Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. Oh, so you lied about the console so you can get some naughty time with your roommate? Well, well, yes, you did. You're a backer, Alice. Did you know that? <laughs> Maybe. I'll make it up to you. In the evening? Obviously, I had to skip what happened with Alice. Now, finally time to play some Days of Destiny. Just... Damn it! Ah, oh, this must be Abby. Hey Jones! Hey Abby, good to see you. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Yes, you are. Of course not, come on in. So this is your room. It's uh, nice. Yeah, thanks. I meant to get here sooner. Now it's quite late. I hope your landlady and landlord don't mind I'm here. No, only landlady's at home. She's cool. Great. Is Tracy at home? Yeah, you want me to get her for you? No, no, I want to talk to you a little bit first. I want to talk about our little date. Thank you for taking me. It was good fun. I really enjoyed the car ride as well. <laughs> yeah, me too. You're a nice guy. Sometimes a bit quirky, but it's cute. You're a great girl too. And beautiful, of course. Really? You're quite the charmer. Damn, I like her. She's nice down to girl earth, but... So much crap going on right now. I think about it, she was the one that wanted to have a date with me. For years, I didn't have a girlfriend, and now a hot babe like her is just falling on me? Is she? No, I'm probably wrong. She can't be with the order. Damn it. Well, well, well. But ain't the lovebirds. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt anything? Very funny, Tracy. She was born a woman, but she's kind of a dick. <laughs> Shut up, dipid. So, I got a bottle opened. You two want a drink? Wow, you're not messing around, girl. It's Saturday night. What'd you expect? Let's go. Hey, you coming too? One day, I tape your mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, could be fun. What's the bottle? Oh, this? This is Mama's Mama Tracy special. Are you drunk already? Me? You're asking too many questions, little roommate. Now that everyone's here, I've got a great idea. Let's play this bottle spinning game. Aren't we a little too old for that, Tracy? We are, but there isn't anything else to do in this crap hole. Well, I don't mind. Pour me a drink, girl. You wanna play too, Alice? Why not? I've never played this game before. It's basically a little game where you spin the bottle and the spinner and whoever the bottle points to when it stops kiss. But since Mr. Pervy Perv Twinkle Crap here is a roommate, it's best if he spins for us and just watches from the sidelines. That sounds fun. Spin the bottle, Mr. Pervy Perv. <laughs> oh god. Why did I even agree to this? Well, watching these three make out could be quite fun. Okay, here we go. So I did have to skip it. Um, it's just I don't want to get these videos age restricted so that everybody can watch them and get the story. Uh, and I feel like it may be too dirty, so I have to skip it. Um, basically, Tracy got Alice, Abby got Alice, Alice got Abby. So, <laughs> Alice is in all three of them. So that's interesting. But it's random, so you may get a different result for yourself. I need some rest. Except now that I'm not really at rest. The figure in the window today. The contents of the book. News about Landlord. At least when I sleep, I can't think about these things. Maybe tomorrow will bring something good. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, hell. 
It's still the middle of the night. I'm thirsty. I'll get a glass of water and go back to bed. Now I can't even sleep properly. Just what I needed with all their crap happening. Eh, it's probably because I took a nap during the day. Ugh. Gigi, not this cold. We still have warm days. Wait, what the? Holy hell. Is that blood? Who the freaking hell left it here? Someone broke in? Or maybe it's from Landlady or the girls? Christ, I gotta check. What the hell happened here? Did I sleep through this? No, it can't be it. Something's off. Ah, uh, here's something from Lindsay's room. I don't know whose voice it is from this far. I have to get closer. Damn, that's definitely Landlady. What's going on here? It's best if I go slow. I am definitely had to skip out that whole sequence. Um, Alice and Landy were doing stuff together. It was a dream. Uh, things got a little creepy. Uh, the black hands and everything were coming out from the floor and all over them and grabbed us. And we just woke up, it looks like. Ah! Huh? Oh, hell. It's just a dream. Christ. That's so real. Damn, I almost crapped my pants. It felt so real. I should look at some cute cat pictures to get this out of my head. One new message. Ah, oh, damn, it's the malware. It intercepted Tracy's message. Let's see. I got what you needed. Now it's your turn to help me. T. Christ. What'd you get? I better get to Marcus fast. We can figure this out together. Sometime later. Hey, bro. Barge in here like a racehorse. What's up? Yo, I caught Tracy's message. What'd it say? She obtained something that she needed. She got it for someone in exchange for someone's help. That was all in the message. Dude, did you not? I saw some creepy figure looking around our house yesterday. Hell, bro. Did you whack the dude? No, I can only see a silhouette in the window from the kitchen. Man, this is no joke. It's starting to get really weird. Someone is sneaking around. It's only a matter of time before they jump you. Hell, man. I don't know what to do. Alright, don't panic. We'll figure this out. So, Tracy has an accomplice. That's for sure. I think the best thing to do here is to wait for their meeting and then bust her. She can't lie her way out of it then. Did she mention whether they're going to meet or when? No, that was all of it. Good. They still have a chance. They pro they'll probably talk about the time and place of the message again. Okay. Keep an eye on the PC. Good. Good. I'm bro, you need to whack someone. Just tell me. That bastard ever goes near the house again? I'll bring the boys from around the block and we'll screw them up real bad. Thanks, bro. Knew we can get on you. Of course. By the way, last time we were here, and you know, helped out Lindley a little bit. It's been pretty great ever since then. Thanks, man. I think it could get even spi more spicy in the future. You're welcome, bro. What'd you do to her back then, the first time? Oh, that. That was sweet. Let me tell you. Man, you were so into this, I was afraid you were going to do it in your pants. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm going to go, man. Thanks for the help. Of course. If anything comes up, just give me a call. Sure. See you later. Yeah, so just a quick cut there because I had to cut out the scene as a whole. It does show it. Uh, the whole thing with his landlady there. I didn't see anyone suspicious on my back. I have to keep an eye out, just in case. Nothing on the PC either. I feel anxious just thinking about what kind of crap is going on. But I can't just stay here and agonize all day. I'll see what Landy is up to. And it's pretty usual. She was naked. <laughs> doing uh, naked yoga in the living room. Oh, that's close. Did Landy know what I was doing? She could easily see me from the reflection on the TV. Damn, I'm so dumb. Well, it looks like she didn't mind. Ooh, a message. Fabby, she wants to talk at the gym. Oh, first yoga and now the gym. I'm okay with that. But what does she want to talk about? I guess I'll find out soon enough. The gym's just a few minutes walk from here. It's not that big or well equipped or anything, but it does the job. Typical pan, of course. Hey Jones! Glad you came. Seeing that I almost did, yeah. Hey Abby! I'm almost finished. Hope you don't mind if I continue while we talk. No, of course not. Great. Sorry for dragging you here. Yesterday we didn't really have time to talk. Yeah, thanks to Tracy. It's alright, we can continue our conversation now. 
So as I was saying, man, that thing's really good. I can't be distracted when she talked to me. You are a nice guy. I enjoyed our last date. I know, I was the one who asked you out. A little unconventional, but that's the 21st century for you. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering, why didn't you ask me for a second date? You know, I wanted to set this straight. Well, I... To be honest, I have no idea. I was really busy. I don't want to give you any crap. It's the truth. But I enjoyed it too. So, you don't want to see me anymore? No, I mean, yes. I mean, I want to. Okay. Right, um, how about we meet tomorrow? I'm free in the evening. Cool, I'll call you tomorrow then. Right. And Jones? You don't have to take the car. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. Later that day. So we got a date with Abby. Oh, extra scene. Must be from the DLC. Later that night. So as expected, the scene, the extra scene, is um is part of the what is it, quote unquote DLC that's included in the definitive edition. Um, it's basically you do a photo shoot of landlady. And she's just basically naked in most of it. <laughs> if you want to see it, you gotta buy the game for yourself. Well, Abby is cute. She's a silver lining and all this crap storm. I'm so worked up too. Probably because I'm used to doing it multiple times a day. I couldn't get anything today. This damn order is ruining my perf life. I don't even dare to start to play any games because I'm sure if I do, something will happen and make me stop. Like a bomb is gonna fall in this place. I'm better off just beating it in the shower and going to sleep. Looks like someone's having a shower. Hmm, feels a bit nostalgic already. We have to lose. Let us walk in. And of course, everything is naked. Uh, you manage to sneak out without being noticed, which is great. Uh, but yeah, Alice is like fondling Tracy a little bit in the shower, and we sneaked out. Damn, this is intense. I almost got caught, but in the end, I managed to see some action. I also ninja my way out. Ugh. Today is all about getting excited, but no release. Like, Lady Luck decided to give me a big screw you today. I can't play my games. I can't play with myself. None of that stuff. What the hell? That's it. I'm fed up with this crap. Looks like this is cursed. Yeah, that's it. I'll go over to neighbor's house to get some relief. This is, of course, if I don't get murdered by some ordering goons on the way. Damn. Sometime later. Good. I'm in easy, like usual. Man, it's much better here. Huge house, there's only one person in it. Well, no, it's only two. No creepers or anyone who would disturb me. Just me and my sleeping neighbor. You're gonna help me out tonight, neighbor. It's only fair. After you had my damn paperwork stash in your room for days. Obviously, I had to cut that out. Um, so we started doing stuff with her and, you know, he's like, oh, I was going to put just the tip in and she wakes up and her eyes are crazy and they do, they go all the way his first time ever. Uh, then it goes into like the dream scene that the, the, the girls usually get with the apparition stuff and he kind of watches her do stuff there and then yeah, wakes up. Uh, he ends up falling asleep in her bed with her. And yeah, she still is okay with everything. And we'll see what happens after that. I think this night was crazy. It's hard to believe. I did it with my hot neighbor. I lost it. She's a true cougar. I have to give her that. Christ. Coffee's ready. You know, now that we shared a bed, I feel like I have a confession to make. I know it might seem cold at times. Or you might think that I'm a bad person. That's not true. This hasn't always been the case. Me acting this way, I mean. But this life with my husband has taught me a lot of things. One of those things has, was to be strong and never show your weakness to anyone. I guess that it's important in business, but when a household is concerned, it's a bit different. The reason why being with your household is good because they are the only people you can let your guard down around. Well, yeah, except for Tracy. I just want to tell you this before I go on with the rest. I don't want you to make the same mistake I did with your landlady. We don't really talk much. I guess it's my fault. She's always been the kinder of the two of us. Act like a cold, ruthless person. 
because that's what life has taught me. And as a result, I alienated my only roommate. I'm sure she would understand if I apologized. She would forgive me, because she's good-hearted like that. You're a lot like her in that regard. You're naive, and a huge pervert though, but who am I at dark? Maybe someday I will apologize. Until then, take care of her for me. First, when you first came to me about a week ago, you were asking about Tracy. She brought your papers here and asked me to hold on to them. And now, after last night, I know where they are now. You came in and took them. Nice move, neighbor. She asked me for a favor a while back to have Alice here for the summer and give her some kind of work. Which was a bit ridiculous. We have a maid, a gardener, and sometimes even a chef comes in when my husband wants to eat something different. I didn't really understand, but I thought it would be a good opportunity for Alice to learn a few things, so I agreed. Tracy somehow set it up with your landlady, and that's it. Alice is here for the summer. In the meantime, Tracy was acting weird, distressed. Something was clearly eating away at her, and any time I asked, she didn't tell me the full story in detail. Needless to say, it was weird, and I got suspicious. I demanded an explanation, but didn't get one. I wanted to help your roommate, but she didn't let me. I remember she told me she has met with someone, a woman I think. She said that woman can help her, so it's fine. I couldn't keep Alice here any longer. At that point, I was fed up with all this and didn't want to have anything to do with it. It was just before that when she came to me with your papers. I just thought to myself, whatever, and took them. It wasn't against you, and I apologize. The point is, I don't know what's going on, but something is clearly not right. With your landlord being away, you're the man of the household. It's your responsibility to take care of these things. I'll hurry back home. I called your landlady while you were in the shower. She was worried sick. I told her you went to some kind of party and my house was closer than yours, so you slept here. Oh, crap. Yeah, landlady must be furious. I didn't tell her anything about not spending the night at home. Well, I wasn't planning it that way. Thanks, neighbor. I, uh, I know it's weird to talk right now. Just remember the things I told you. Next time we meet, it's not going to be this awkward. Now go. Oof. Back at home. Oh, and this is where we're going to leave it for today. Interesting. So she doesn't, apparently, doesn't really know anything. But now that we've done stuff with her, we probably don't have to sneak around anymore, which is kind of nice. It's definitely getting interesting. So Tracy is really caught up in something that's kind of involved in what's going on with us, it appears. Oh, wonder what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'm really on the quest to 1,000. I love, love, love your support and feedback. Uh, leave a comment, question, suggestion in the box below. And I'll catch you all in the next one.